Oh, behavior of America can be a role model for a role model for the rest of the world. What I want uh, to suggest is that the United States join uh, the ICC and in this way uh, not let the dictators sleep a good night. What exactly do you feel that Barack Obama should do right now? Uh, he has talked about direct dialogue with Iran. At what levels do you think the dialogue has to happen? I think that the dialogue should take place at three levels, at the level of the presidents of both countries, at the level of the parliaments of both countries, and at the level of the civil society of both countries. And I think that the negotiations should bear in mind the interests of the people of both countries, not only the interests of a few companies. In the past, in 1953, the presidents of both countries or the heads of both countries spoke, but their dialogue resulted in a few big oil companies coming to Iran. Shireen Abadi, there are going to be presidential elections uh, in a few months in Iran. Uh, the man considered a reformist, Khatami, may run. Uh, Ahmadinejad said he could run. Have you considered running for president of Iran? من هرگز قصد ورود به قدرت رو ندارم من بایستی به I have never had the intention to joining a power I have to remain among the people and be the representative of people that's why I reiterate that I'm not going to join power Your offices have been raided, your home has been raided, your secretary has been arrested. Um, you have the leading women's rights campaigner in Iran, uh, you can pronounce her name for me, uh, who is now going to jail. Why are you returning to Iran? Do you feel safe there? Iran <laughs> کافی ندارم همونطوری که بقیه کسانی که برای حقوق بشر کار میکنن امنیت کافی ندارن اما من به ایران برمیگردم بر اینکه ایرانی هستم I don't have enough safety in Iran nor does any other person who works on human rights have enough safety in Iran but I am going back to Iran I have to do my work in Iran and I will remain in Iran that's why I'm going back to Iran This is the 30th anniversary of the Iranian Revolution. You were a judge uh, before the revolution under the Shah. Um, you are no longer. Uh, talk about the state of your country and of women's rights in particular. Um, uh بیش از 65 درصد از دانشجوان دانشگاه های ما دخترند یعنی اصولا ایران جامعه است که زناش over 65% of the university students in Iran are female women exist in all uh, levels of government they work in all levels of government and they are present in the society however unfortunately after the revolution discriminatory laws have been passed against women and I want to give you a few examples of these uh, discriminatory laws. Yeah. Uh, the life of a woman is worth half of that of a man and therefore if there is an automobile accident and a man and a woman are involved and their injuries are the same the compensation paid to the woman is half of that paid to the man men can marry four wives they can divorce their wives without an excuse testification of two women in court equal testi equals testification of one man so So these are the discriminatory laws I'm talking about. What do you think would change, bring change in Iran? And do you hold out any hope for these elections? Are you supporting anyone? Where do you think the real change will happen? من به پرنسیب های معتقدم و یکی از اونها آزادی I believe in freedom of elections unfortunately in Iran the competency of the candidates has to be approved by the guardian council in other words they have to be qualified by the guardian council uh, this law is against the constitution of the United uh, of the country of Iran and I don't think that until and unless this law is outlawed 
uh, that we could have free elections in Iran. This is a principle that I believe in. What gives you any hope? What gives you courage when you return to Iran, especially when you look at, for example, the crackdown now just over the last few months? Uh, من به ایران برمیگردم و اونچه که به من نیرو میده احساس وظیفه است که من در مقابل I am going back to Iran what gives me courage is the duty that I have towards my country and also I believe in God and that helps me If the United States were to attack Iran and when you look at the repression that you and others have suffered would that help the democratic movement in Iran حمله نظامی به ایران و حتی تهدید به حمله نظامی به ایران وضعیت حقوق بشر و حقوق زن رو در ایران خطرناک کرده. military attack on Iran or even a threat of a military attack on Iran will deteriorate the situation of human rights and women's rights because it gives an excuse to the government to repress them more and more often. Any other thing you would like to add, Shireen Abadi? But as in ke daftar ma ro basan ma elam kardim ke kar karumun ro tatil na khayim kard va karumun ro edame dadim va kanun modafano ro gashad dar Iran. Although the office for the Center of um, for the Defense of Human Rights has been closed down, but we are continuing our work, and this way we want to tell the government of Iran and the people of Iran that we are going to fight uh, the human rights abuses and the illegality that goes on in this regard in Iran. Shireen Abadi is the Nobel Peace Prize laureate of 2003. She returns to Iran this week. She founded the Center for the Defense of Human Rights, which the Iranian government just shut down. And when we come back, we continue on the issue of Iran. Stay with us.